Jeff Tedford and Fresno State inherit a challenge this year. I think last year was a surprising season for them in year one of his second tenure here. But I think that the 10 guys we have returning will play a big role. A lot of X factors on both offense and defense. It's going to be exciting to see what these 10 guys can do. We'll start with the offensive side of the ball. Damian Moore comes in from Cal and provides some depth at running back. Now you're going to see a couple of guys that we'll talk about today. Moore is one of them. And I think that he could be a solid piece to this puzzle. The offense has to be explosive once again. Now they lose quite a bit of talent. And we'll talk about that a little bit more later. But losing Jordan Mims was always going to hurt. I think everybody knew that. It was just a matter of how do they replace him and how do they move on in the future. And it's going to be interesting to see if this is a by committee approach or how do they do that. Now, another position they lost a lot of talent is wide receiver. Jalen Gill comes in from Boston College, the former four-star. I think that he could be a key piece to this offense. You look at what they lost, whether it's in the transfer portal, whether that is to the NFL draft or graduation, wide receiver took a big hit. Now, Jalen Gill comes in and provides a playmaker that I think that at times got lost in the Boston College offense. And it was an offense that, you know, didn't exactly air it out. So you lost a lot of opportunities there. Now, I think he joins a more wide receiver friendly offense under Tedford. And it's just a matter of finding him downfield and finding some chemistry with the quarterbacks here. So that's going to be a big thing. One of the things to keep an eye on is the battles that they'll have in practice with a secondary. Carlton Johnson comes back after a successful year in 2022 and this defense honestly was an underrated group i think that they were flying around the field they were a group that could make plays and they return a good amount of talent to be able to do that again and carlton johnson is one of those players that could step up he's going to get a lot of of opportunities because cam lockridge is back i think teams will avoid cam lockridge's side and carlton johnson gets a chance to prove his worth now up front That's where they lost a a lot of players. That's where a lot of the damage was done. But Malachi Langley is back after a solid season in which he produced 68 tackles, three tackles for loss. I think that you're looking at a a guy who really honestly was underrated. You're looking at someone who this front seven was underrated last year. It was underrated the year before, and people just keep sleeping on Fresno State's defense. Now, this year, I will say there is some some validity to that, maybe that doubt, but I think that there's plenty of talent to be able to get back. It's just they don't have any proven players uh, in terms of what they've had in the past. But Malachi Langley is someone who I think can be that guy. I think that he can take a step forward and be a reliable playmaker. Now, another guy that maybe fits that mold of someone who can step up is Eric Brooks. With what they lost, again, they lost at wide receiver really hurts, but you have guys that can step up 391 yards last year for Brooks, 760 on his career, five career touchdowns. He's not the biggest guy at five foot seven, but he is a player that could be a reliable possession receiver, someone who can pick up first downs when they need it. And that's really exciting to see. That's going to be interesting to see how does this offense work together? How does this offense work through we got new guys coming in at certain positions really at every position honestly offensively how do they work together how do they find chemistry and how do they be an explosive group another player that can do that we talked about the running backs Malik Schrod comes in at five foot eight 173 pounds not the biggest guy you look at I think you look at Jordan Mims was kind of an anomaly at six feet but you look at Ronnie Rivers two years ago Malik Schrod could be that the Ronnie Rivers where he's an undersized back that just makes plays. And he averaged 5.4 yards per carry last year. So I think that he has the opportunity to explode. I think he has the opportunity to be a breakout candidate. And this offense really needs certain guys like him to step up. Now, another guy who probably plays the biggest role on this team in terms of X factor and being able to take them to another level is Mikey Keene. Now, one of the best things I think that he could have done was transfer. His time at UCF was obviously solid. He learned a lot. He he was given opportunities, but he was never going to fit in Gus Malzahn's system. It was just so obvious that he was going to transfer. Now, that being said, Mikey Keene can run. Don't make any mistake about that, but he is not a running quarterback. He is someone who can throw the ball. He is someone who can make plays on the run. 
He is someone who can make really, really good throws. Look at his, his film at UCF. You'll see someone who can make a lot of big time throws. And that's huge for Fresno state. Mikey Keene's going to be their quarterback for a while. So get used to seeing him make plays. It's just a matter of finding playmakers that will, will help him in that regard. Now, keeping him upright is going to be key. Now, I mentioned that he can make plays on the run, but Nick Fulmer is going to have to keep him upright, and that offensive line will have to do their part because Mikey Keene is super good, but if you don't give him time to throw, this offense isn't going anywhere. Now, you'll look at Fresno State's offensive line has a lot of interesting players, Fulmer especially because he's six foot three, 284 pounds. Maybe not that prototypical size that you expect from a tackle, but he is someone who gets the job done. He's an all-conference type player, and this offense, while it does have potential at skill positions, the offensive line will probably play a bigger role this year. Flipping back to the defensive side of the ball, we already talked about one linebacker. Lavelle Bailey is another player who I think is going to have a big year. He takes on more of a veteran leader role because of his experience, 195 tackles, 21 tackles for loss, 17 passes defended in his career. He is someone who knows what he's doing. He has played a ton of snaps, and he's going to get the front seven up to speed. The secondary, really not too many concerns, even though they lost a couple key players to the transfer portal and have moved on. Lavelle Bailey is going to get everybody going up front, and he took a step forward last year himself, and he's going to figure out how to get other guys to do the same thing because that's going to be a big thing. This defense doesn't have the disruptive playmakers on the defensive line that it did maybe last year or the year before, but they have players that can help get the new guys up to speed quicker than expected. Now, a player to me that is criminally under the radar is Cam Lockridge, the former Hawaii transfer who was a stud at Hawaii, comes to Fresno State and is a stud at Fresno State. He is a cornerback that is not getting talked about enough. He is someone who deserves more attention, and I don't understand why he is not. Probably because he plays on Fresno State, and a lot of people just don't pay attention to the Bulldogs. You look at last year, nine passes defended, five interceptions. Teams were not shy about testing him. Teams definitely wanted to see what he could do, and they paid for that. You look at what he did at Hawaii as well. Nobody really learned their lesson, and there's still this is still a guy who stays in the Mountain West. He didn't change conferences, and now teams are continuing to pay for their mistakes because Cam Lockridge is someone who does not mess around. He is a talented ball player who knows how to make, make plays, who knows how to get the football back to his offense, and that's going to be huge for a defense that maybe is going through a transition up front. Now, Fresno State has – a lot of potential for this year. Maybe they take a step back because of the newcomers and all the pieces that need to go together, but they're still a team that should compete with the Mountain West best. You're looking at a program that is is continuing their success. Even after Kalen DeBoer left, Jeff Tedford kept things going, and I think that he was because he was successful in his first stint at Fresno State, I think he can do that again in, in his second stint. And you look at the talent they have returning, Maybe they do take a step back. Maybe they don't. If they do, it's not going to be a huge step. But I think you're in good hands with the amount of talent that you have back. And that's really helpful for a program that wants to compete once again for, for Fresno State to compete for Mountain West championships.